the most rewarding championship that I've ever been involved in. Momentum's up. This championship is one of the hardest in the world. Silverstone, the home of British Motor Racing's National Circuit, always delivers plenty of action here at the home of the British Racing Drivers Club, many a member of which is to be found on this grid as well. Silverstone has always been a pretty happy hunting ground for me, to be honest. There's very few corners, which less opportunity for mistake, but it's one of those corners where, it's one of those tracks where all the corners are geared towards, towards a certain driving style, and it seems to play into my favor. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's nice to go into a weekend full of optimism. Everyone prepares in their own little manners. It's, it's an odd thing to say, like from everything from, so I have like a simulator at home that I'll do a lot of prep work before I go to a track, um, and a lot of work that I do is, is based around, say, onboard footage. So I'll have, you'll sometimes see me with what I would call my nerd folder that I bring to every track. That has all my, all my notes on the circuit, you know, what curbs to use, what curbs not to use, previous lap times and kind of reference points. The one thing about myself is I will never be out prepared. <laughs> um, so whatever it takes, I will do. Silverstone is a great circuit for me. Um, I've had lots of wins here before and lots of podiums and a lot of my trophies in my cabinet are from Silverstone. Uh, it is the home of, of British motorsport and uh, I just am so happy I'm now up to speed with the car coming here this weekend because I think uh, I just need to get some silverware this year and no better place to do it than right here at Silverstone. Do you know what? The Grand Prix circuit is incredible because it's like this massive layout with lots of different types of corners uh, and you've still got all these different types of corners in the layout we race in the national circuit but it's just a lot smaller. Quite wide obviously it's got to be up to the F1 standards so it's uh, a lot different for example to somewhere like Alton Park, Croft, uh, they're a very narrow in comparison um, but it's a very fast flowing track um, but then with two massive braking zones um, down into turn three and down into turn four, they're, they're quite tricky on the, in terms of braking, um, and it, you have to be on the ball for that one. My dad is sort of more on the mechanical side of things and how the actual race is planning out in terms of strategy and stuff like that. So I think me and my dad are quite alike-minded in, in that respect, but um, yeah, obviously when it's getting heated out there and it's door to door, then for sure I know, <laughs> I know the girls are, uh, are on the panic stations. I wouldn't want to be working with anyone else um, especially engineers and number ones. Um, obviously my engineer knows exactly what I want in terms of balance from the car. My number one I trust my life with. At the end of the day I'm strapping my, myself in that race car and, and he's the one working on it. So all of the guys that we've, we've got on the car, I, I'm confident wherever I went, we go as a package. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't move anywhere else unless that, that was the case. Yeah, Q1 was, uh, we were pleased with. It was, um, the car was good. We, we didn't really change too much, if anything, from, from, Q, uh, from FP2. It's so a rolled the car in, knew exactly where we were, and yeah, just knuckled in some good times, and we were sat sort of P4, P5, uh, with a little bit on the table still. So I was, I was pleased with that. We went into Q2. Unfortunately, when you, you bolt on a brand new set of tyres, uh, um, and it's got a balance shift on it, it's out of everyone's control, it's out of even Goodyear. It, we can't sit here and point fingers, it's just every tyre, or set, shall we say, 
can sometimes throw the balance one way and unfortunately we yeah we didn't get a chance to sort of oh, didn't have enough time in the session to overcome the issue we, we just keep having to do laps and hope that we can overcome it during that I wouldn't be surprised if you have 30 cars within three quarters of a second. Like, not even a second. I think it might be seven tenths you're going to have 30 cars. So, when you think, oh, it's all right, I was only three hundredths of a second off. No, that could be eight places back. But this circuit's got a lot of history for me, a lot of fun times, a lot of wins, a lot of fantastic overtaking manoeuvres, uh, which I can take to my grave with me, which I've really enjoyed over the years, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Qualifying day, which I have quickly learned is the worst point of the entire weekend. <laughs> we probably chased our tails a little bit in FP2 because we only discovered afterwards that the diff, which I would say is probably the most important component in terms of braking and traction and everything like that, had just like lost its mind and exploded. But unfortunately, it was a very late discovery which limited what could be changed going into quality. Do you know, like, if if they kept the spare of every part that I think they should have, they, we should have like five Arctics full of stuff. So it doesn't really faze me. Around here, it's going to be nose to tail for however many laps these races are. I think we'll pick off places like and go like a bat out of hell tomorrow because I have nothing to lose. Second half of the season four, The track is wide, it's a bit of a pinch point, cars do come together, um, I'm sure there's going to be some good racing. Cars are making their way round to the grid in readiness of our first 22 lap race. We are about to go racing. Round 22 from Silverstone. It's the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. It's Rory Butcher on pole. It's go. He gets away nicely. There's the wet patch. He's clear of it. But how many places has that cost him? Box ticked, place taken, Sutton goes seventh. Rory Butcher is going to have a second victory of the season. The Toyota Gazoo Racing UK Corolla wins at Silverstone. Rory Butcher wins. <laughs> Round 23 of the championship is good to go. Light to go out, it is blast off. He lunged the inside line, he thinks, he thinks, he commits, he gets up the inside, he's off the road. Goes straight on, locks up, goes wide. Race two, checkered flag, Rory Butcher wins, great drive. Lights go out, now it is blast off, and a good start made from fourth on the grid by Stephen Jelly. Gordon Shedden stalls on the grid, he's away late. That is one of the car gods BMWs, it's Tom Chilton, whose difficult day gets no better, and that was coming out of Cops Corner. This should give Jake Hill the race lead. Again, the mirror's almost touched there as they head into the right-hander, but Hill does it. He goes through on the inside line, side by side into Cox, but it's the Infinity ahead as they come out of the corner. He's in exactly the right place for Beckett. He's on the inside line, and Sutton goes third. Brave stuff. Rounds it out in style. Jake Hill wins. Race three in Silverstone. Second goes to Dan Lloyd. Ash Sutton finishes third. Yeah, a weekend of two halves. We rolled out on a setup that probably wasn't optimised. So we chased our tails a little bit in FP2, and then um, in quali we had that mechanical failure of the diff. So that really hurt us. Um, and in my opinion, the diff alone probably cost us to get into that top 10 shootout. You know, it's hard to get to the front. Race one, decent, we moved forward seven. Race two, we got stuck in. Race three, we were doing pretty well. Like I think we were ninth, tenth-ish, and then we had some, you know, not in a bad sense, like <clears throat> Turkington lent on us and hit us once or twice, which put me wide, lost three or four places. And then you're kind of, it's always hard when you're battling against teammates, because it's you have to give each other space, but at the same time you, um, you want, to work together, um, so that was a it was a good race, and it was a it was a good old weekend to be fair. Yeah, looking forward to Donington. It's always gone well there, um, so I'm looking forward to going back to a happy hunting ground. And I think we've cracked a little bit on engine, we've cracked a little bit on chassis, 
So uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be a weekend of no excuses. The car has had pace in it all weekend. Um, it was just great to be able to unlock that and unleash it and show what we can do. Just missed out on the fastest lap. Um, obviously we had to change the car quite a little bit to, to work in traffic. Um, so when I was on my own, I couldn't quite get that lap together, but yeah, charging through it. It was nice, the inner rash come out and, and I could, could do what I love doing. Oh, obviously we, we've come into this weekend and we've, we've extended it by seven. Um, so just knuckle down and, and keep doing the job that we're doing in terms of collecting them points, solid results and, and roll that into Donington and Brands.